in this video i shall tell you a trick or rather easier way to differentiate between omic and schottky contacts so that you never get confused between the two so the people who have studied this topic earlier sometime they might have gone through expressions between phi m and phi s whether it is lesser or greater so relating to the n and p type semiconductor they can identify whether it is an ohmic contact or schottky contact but after watching this video you will get to know a way so that you can easily identify now i shall tell you a trick for ohmic contact so here is this first case metal and n type semiconductor now we have the energy band diagram as shown here ec is the conduction band ev is the valence band efs is the fermi level for the semiconductor and efm is the fermi level for metal now see that the energy band diagram of n type semiconductor is below or down and stands for n type semiconductor here for the trick so if it is below or down to the fermi level of the metal then this you can identify it to be an ohmic contact so to make it easier it is n type semiconductor and in down we have n so similarly going on the same lines we have this p type semiconductor here too we have ec as the conduction band edge ev as the valence band edge efs is the fermi level for the semiconductor of p type and here we have efm so as you might have guessed by now you have to observe that if the whole energy band diagram of p type semiconductor is up p for p type semiconductor it is up with respect to the fermi energy level of metal efm then it is ohmic contact so in this video i tried to present you a rather easier way of spotting this ohmic contact for both n type and p type semiconductors